the Vodafone Rugby Road Trip is clocking up the miles and today we are in New Plymouth, Taranaki, an area that's produced some talented rugby players. So where better to come than Francis Douglas Memorial College, where former students include the Barrett brothers and Liam Coltman. Let's hear what they had to say about their school memories. My first year in the team, uh, Colty was in his final year and I just remember him as a, probably as big as he is today and he just barnstorming runs through the middle. He was really quick back then too, so it was good to be behind. He was pretty sharp, pretty <laughs> calm enough as he still is these days. I mean, oh, it was awesome to have to play alongside Bodie back then as well, you know. For a young guy, he had a big head on his shoulders and you knew what to do and he uh, played an awesome game of footy back then. Other moments that were pretty special. You know, beating Fielding Ag down there um, in my first year in the first 15. You know, with the likes of Ben Fleet and Shane Cleaver and all that. So it was just fantastic. How many White Locks were playing in the Fielding Ag team back then? Aaron Smith was? Yeah, three of them. Three White Locks and uh, Aaron Smith. And so to go down there, they had a massive crowd and everything. Um, to go down there and beat them was Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I coached uh, Bowden in his last year of school, year 13 in 2009, and then the subsequent years, uh, obviously Scott and Geordie, and finishing up in 2015. My early memories of them are certainly in the uh, under 15 sort of set up, and uh, certainly good players um, with skill set that allow them to probably uh, go into the first 15, and, and all of them uh, progressed nicely. But uh, with uh, key attribute of all of them were extremely competitive and uh, a willingness to, to, to work very hard for, uh, for what they were doing. Yeah. They didn't have to look too far for inspiration, following in the footsteps of former All Black centre Conrad Smith. Uh, very special times, a guy like I said looked up to back in growing up to finally play with him it was very special. If our boys are able to see that five or six years on they can possibly be where that person is, then it makes what they're rehearsing for, what they're training for at school here very real to them. I think it's just the coaches and all the parents that help out with the coaching um, just make it very enjoyable. They don't add pressure on the players to uh, perform. Obviously there's that inner drive for the boys to want to win but they just turn up each week and just want to play for their mates. and. I think it's just a really good environment, everyone enjoys it. You achieve whatever you put your mind to, so um, yeah, just follow whatever you want to do and I guess that drive will eventually take you to where you want to be.